A strange smuggling story is coming out of Australia, which can potentially embitter relations between Moscow and Beijing. Sounds strange, right? Well, this story is definitely going to blow your mind. It involves Chinese military intelligence operatives, someone connected to the top brass of the Chinese Communist Party and notorious criminals. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Atul Mishra and in this video I will give you details regarding the shocking revelation by the Australian police that could possibly dent the Sino-Russo relationship for long. Let's begin. Recently China hosted the Beijing Winter Olympics. It was what everyone expected it to be, a flop show. But there was one thing that grabbed eyeballs, the meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping. Soon, people were conversing about the Russia-China axis to fight off the West. Yet the enthusiasm was short-lived as Canberra has now dropped a bombshell that is likely to sabotage the idea of Sino-Russian cooperation. Australian police have now exposed how China was trying to smuggle the Russian defense equipment. Australian Federal Police has reportedly intercepted a plan by two Queensland-based businessmen to transfer defense equipment from Russia to China. The revelation emerged during a broader probe into a suspected CCP spy network in Australia. Interestingly, the spy network holds some murky tie-up with a relative of Chinese President Xi Jinping. Chinese-born Gold Coast accountant Kim Bowie Lee and Russian-born Brisbane entrepreneur Alexander Sher have been indicted in the present case and have been charged with violating provisions of Australia's Defence Trade Control Act. The duo is accused of partnering with another Chinese national and former Melbourne businessman Brian Chen, who is presently underground and facing an Interpol red notice. The sensational story begins way back in August 2016, when Australian officials tracked down an unusual private jet flight, which was hosted by an Australian casino. Hey, it's me, Atul. I started this channel. We started small, we went big. Suddenly, the whitey police was after us. We dodged and ducked. But the algos got us really bad. So we designed our own app. It's free. We never asked for money. We never will. But the droid called us too sensitive and blocked us. We still have an Apple app. Join us and fast. Because if you don't, we will cease to exist. Check out the link in the description. There were some high profile names in the passenger list on this private flight from Gold Coast to New Zealand, including Lee, she's cousin Ming Shai, an organized criminal based out of Melbourne, and a casino junket operator, Tom Mr. Chinatown Zhao. Apart from them, there was other person on the flight who is believed to have links to the Chinese intelligence. It was after intercepting this flight that Australian authorities had unearthed a massive Chinese spy network running in the country. And now, Further details have emerged in the same case that point out how the Chinese spy network may have been trying to smuggle Russian military equipment into China. The latest reports coming from Australia are likely to pit Russia against China. The present case involves many details that point out how the CCP and the Chinese intelligence establishment seem to be deeply involved in the entire transaction. A Russian-born element is also said to be involved in the case, but that doesn't show any sign of the Russian state backing the transaction. This is likely to revive concerns of reverse engineering and stealing of defense designs by Beijing. Russia guards its defense industry fiercely because it forms the core of its economic growth and foreign policy. Yet, last year, the research published by Boston-based cyber security technology company Cyber Reason had revealed that a threat actor believed to be acting on behalf of Chinese state-sponsored interests was spotted targeting a Russian defense contractor making designs 
for nuclear submarines for the Russian Navy. In June 2020, it was reported by TASS that Valery Mitko, president of the St. Petersburg Arctic Social Sciences Academy, was charged with treason. Mitko was accused of spying for China. TASS quoted his lawyer as saying, according to the investigation during his trip to China, Mitko handed over classified materials to the Chinese intelligence. After his return to Russia, a search took place in his apartment and he was charged with treason. In fact, Russia's state-owned defense conglomerate Rostec had even flagged the issue of intellectual property theft by the Middle Kingdom. Yevgeny Levadny, Rostec's chief of intellectual property projects, had said, unauthorized copying of our equipment abroad is a huge problem. There have been 500 such cases over the past 17 years. China alone has copied aircraft engines, Sukhoi planes, deck jets, air defense systems, portable air defense missiles, and analogs of the Pantsir medium-range surface-to-air systems. The latest revelation by AFP undoubtedly drives a deep wedge between Beijing and Moscow. Russia and China have already faced tensions over Beijing's clinging to copying Russian defense designs. India and Japan have already made efforts to forge deep ties with Russia. This is what makes the latest revelation by AFP extremely important. It helps India, Japan, Australia trilateral in wooing Russia away from China and isolating the Middle Kingdom in the Indo-Pacific. China thought it could smuggle in Russian weapons, but it made a mistake. It signed the smuggling deal in Australia and got caught red-handed. Now, this single development could send the Sino Russia relationship in free fall and further marginalize the communist country amidst a growing global backlash against it.